Hi, boys and girls. We're going to do some math today. And I want to read you a story first called Using Addition at Home. And this is published by, it's written by Tracy Stelfora, published by Heinemann Library. It has a table of contents. People live in homes. At home, we share meals with family and friends. Four people are sharing a meal. There is a knock at the door. It is a friend. So what is four plus one more? Can you predict what the answer is? Four plus one more is? Start with four, add one more. How many people are there in all? Four and one more is five. Four plus one equals five. There are five people in all. Two more. Four people are sharing a meal. The phone rings. Grandma and Grandpa are coming over. Wouldn't that be fun if they were? Start with four. Add one, two more. How many people are there in all? Four and two is six. Four plus two equals six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six people in all. Three more. Four people are sharing a meal. Three, oh, they get a text. Three friends are coming over. Start with one, two, three, four. Add one, two, three, three more. So how many people are there in all? Four and three equals seven. Four plus three equals seven. There are seven people in all. And boys and girls, we've already counted how many there are here. There's four. So we could start with four and count on to add four, five, six, seven. That's right. Now we have four more. Four people are making a meal. They get an email. Four more people are coming over. So start with four. One, two, three, four. Add one, two, three, four more. How many people are there in all? Four and four is eight. Or four plus four equals eight. So when we count on, we'd start four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight people in all. Sharing a meal is fun, but the dishes also add up. <laughs> so there'd be a lot of dishes to wash, wouldn't there? But having company is fun. I want to read one more, and this is using subtraction at the park. And it's also written by Strefi Stef Tracy Stefora and published by Hanneman Library. A park is a busy place. People come and go at the park. Animals come and go at the park. Take one away. There are two squirrels in the grass. One squirrel runs up a tree. How many are left? Do you know? What is two? Take away one. How many are left? Start with two, take one away. There is one squirrel left. Now we're going to take two away. There are four swans in the water. One, two, three, four. Two swans fly away. How many are left? 
If you have four and you take two away, how many are left? Did you guess? One, two, three, four swans. Take away two of them. How many are left? Yes, there are two swans left. Now we're going to take three away. Some children are playing marbles. How many marbles are in this circle? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. What if three are hit out of the circle? Can you take three away? And how many will be left? Do you know? Start with six. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then take three away. They got knocked out of the circle. Six take away three equals three. There are three marbles left. Three children are on the swings. All three children leave. How many children are left? Do you know? Three take away three equals zero. There are no children left on the swings. It is time to go home. Tomorrow will be another day at the park. And boys and girls, I hope our parks are opened up very, very soon so that you can go and play at the park because parks are fun, aren't they? Look at this picture. Can you write a story, your own subtraction story about this picture? There's a lot of people there. And then you could take some away and see how many are left. I want to show you something, boys and girls, just a couple of them right now. Do you know what this number here is? Yes, that is a four. Now, if I want to make four, and I have three bugs already. How many more bugs do I need? Do you know? I want four, but I only have three. How many more do I need? What do you think is under here? It's how many more I need. Yes, one more. One, two, three, four. Three and one is four. I'm going to show you another one. What number is this? Yes, it's a five. And how many bugs do I have here? Do I have five bugs? No, I don't. I only have one. So if I want five bugs, how many more bugs need to be under here? It's not five because if I have five under here, that would be one more would make six, wouldn't it? And I need it to make five. So how many need to be hiding underneath that question mark? What is one and how many more are going to make five? Do you know? Let's see. Four. That's right. One and four more is five. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Let's try another one. We have we, the number. What is that number? Four. Yes, it is. We have the number four. And we have how many bugs? How many are showing? One. So how many are under here? Because we need to have four bugs on this card. Do you know how many? Did you guess? Did you make your prediction? Yes, three. One, two, three, four. Or three and one more is four. Very good. Let's try one more. What number is this one? Yes, it's a three. Is this three bugs? No. How many is it? Two. And we need to have three. So how many bugs are underneath our question mark? Do you know? One, two. How many are under there to make three? Yes, one more. One, two, three. Two and one more makes three. Let's try one last one. What number is that one? 
Yes, that's a five. Do we have five bugs here? How many bugs do we have? One, two, three. So how many more will we need under a question mark so that we have five bugs on this card? Did you guess? You made your prediction. Is it a two? Yes. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We never have to count the three. If we already know by looking that that's three, then we just count on. After three comes four, five. Yeah, so to make five, we can have a group of three and a group of two. That makes five. Yes, a group of four and a group of one also equals five. That's right. Very good. Okay, we'll do some more another day. Thank you so much for joining me in doing a little bit of math today. Please keep practicing your numbers and writing your numbers and maybe making the quantity of how many that number represents. Thanks for joining me. Remember, boys and girls, you are important. You are very loved. Bye for now.